Good afternoon. I don't. Yes, it is. Uh, excuse me. Just go through the uh, kitchen here. It's currently 12 minutes to 1 p.m. or 12:48 p.m. Australian Central Daylight Time. My name is Bill Quinn, and I'm doing a video for. Wait for it. <gasps> LinkedIn. Now I know that you can't load up a video straight to LinkedIn. I've got this very vague memory that even if I do a link to a video on YouTube or some other streaming service like Vivo or something like that, I got this feeling that it dissuades you from doing so. A bit like Twitter will only let you have 120 seconds. A bit like Twitter used to be 30 seconds. A bit like when you leave a little message on certain phone services, it cuts out after 68 seconds. And then, of course, our lovely introvert friends don't let you in on the thing and the phone rings and rings and rings and rings and you're just about to hang up when about 60 seconds later I go, oh yeah, here's a beep. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Guinevere, I hope. <laughs> Get that a lot. So, 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 it's festival time in Adelaide at the moment. It's currently Tuesday, the 12th of March, 2024. And I told the lovely people at one of my local cafes, I have many, I walked in about a week or so ago, looked at them all, and I said, you're all trying to kill me. I said, what? What? Something about the food, the coffee, the tea, the dogs? What? I said, no, this city is trying to kill me. Adelaide, I'll delve into this and try and find out. But... Okay, let me go back a couple of years ago. Three years in a row, I did... Uh, did. Uh, three years in a row, I attended, as a volunteer at each time, the... No, not the last one. Try again. Three years in a row, I went to Darwin Fringe, then Darwin Festival. Darwin Fringe in July, Darwin Festival in August. Now, all three years it ran, never mind the fact that it was 2019... 2020 and 2021. You might remember that in 2020 and 2021, we had some challenges for holding festivals. Just a few, just a few. Darwin managed to pump out, never mind the fact that 2020 Darwin Festival, I thought was brilliantly glorious for me, for me. It was called DF Homegrown, Darwin Festival 20 Homegrown. And because the borders were shut to so, 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 so many people, there was a wealth, an absolute embarrassment of riches of Northern Territory talent. It was fantastic. Mbuntua down south got a look in. Uh, APY lands uh, out to places uh, like uh, Groot Island and, and uh, not Groot Island, um, Nullumboy and all these other places which I, I've heard a lot about and have only been to very few, very sadly, all got some sort of look in. It was fabulous. Adelaide, what do you do? Oh, let's just have this festival and then let's chuck this one in the middle and then we'll put this one overlapping, not overlapping, just butting up against the next one. So come Sunday or Monday morning at about two o'clock, you'll find me in the gutter outside the Exeter Hotel, Exeter Hotel on Rundle Street near the corner of eh, that street and I will be a husk of a man, which is not a bad thing at the moment because I have got a bit of a you know veranda over the tool shed. But... Anyway, while it's happening, and I'm having today off, I need today off. I thought Monday, yesterday, was going to be my day off. But of course, it was Adelaide Cup Day. Oh, let's go to the races. No, let's go to Wome Adelaide and then head out into the city afterwards. I fell in here at about half past two thinking, six more days, <laughs> six more days. Can I last the distance? The first thing I went to when I fell off a plane on the uh, 17th of February, which was the day after Fringe kicked into gear. Went and saw the Borderers doing their 30th anniversary but final bow. Went and saw Fred Smith at probably my favourite new venue ever, 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 which is the Wheat Sheaf Hotel, of which I'd heard much about. And even before I'd walked in the front door, this aura of wonderfulness had drifted out and caught me in and said, come on in, everything that you heard is true. It's, I love it, adore it. Uh, Laura Silverstone, saw her in the street playing along with Armin Gune and Constantine, and she blew my tiny little mind, and I went and saw all three of those performing at the Casa Blabla on Sunday evening. 
And Thursday night at the Gov, Harry Manx. Saw these guys before the festival started, I think. Yeah, I think that was before the festival. I saw them at the Adelaide Baroque Theatre or Baroque Concert Hall. That was amazing. Baroque, oh, Baroque music I wouldn't really particularly cross the road for or even acknowledge. Enjoyed every single second of it. It was fantastic. And I did a little interview. And Emily and uh, Andrew, it's coming. So is Christmas. So wonderfulness, brilliantness. I have been, all my senses, all 20 senses filled up. Well, maybe the 19th and the 20, not as much, but for definitely all the 18. So yeah, come Thursday night, I've got about four guests, I think. We're going to be plonked at the Gov. Got a table booked. Oh, yikes. I better ex- include, I better up my booking. I'm looking forward to seeing Harry Manx, the Mississippi. And if you're in my orbit, if you are in my proximity, I'll see you when I'm looking at you. It's Bill Quinn from the city of Mitcham in the city of Adelaide on Tantania, on Ghana lands. And uh, I give respect to the elders of the Red Kangaroo Dreaming past, present, future and emerging. This is unceded land. Good afternoon. See you when I'm looking at you. The Sanskrit songs, the last night's dream and the toll the life's been taking. Stark of mysteries, places roamed by 